In this afternoon's health alert, it might not come as a surprise to hear the average American eats more than 3,000 calories on Thanksgiving and gains an average of one pound during the holiday period. That's it. I gained a lot more than right. that. Well, Thanksgiving, of course, a holiday that's really big on eating. Mm -hmm. And that comes as a new study finds a link between a type of fat in our bodies and higher levels of protein associated with Alzheimer's disease. ABC News's medical correspondent, Dr. Darian Sutton, spoke more about this today on Good Morning America. We've long known the association between gaining weight and obesity with an increased risk of dementia. Now, this new study reveals clues as to not, maybe it's not about how much weight we gain, but how we distribute that weight. In this study, they looked at about 35, 34, excuse me, cognitively healthy adults. They measured their subcutaneous fat, or the fat beneath their skin, their visceral fat, which is really important to understand. That's our abdominal fat. That's the fat that surrounds our abdominal organs and is associated to weight circumference. And they also looked at insulin resistance and then brain image. And they found that those who had higher ratios of visceral fat, that's that abdominal obesity, had a significantly increased risk or signs of brain disease, which include protein deposits that we know are associated with dementia. And Michael, these signs can occur as early as 50 years old. So it's just a notice that we need to pay attention, not just to our weight, but also our waistlines. Yeah, you say visceral fat, I'm like, yeah, I got visual fat. <laughs> vis visceral, vis visual. But, okay, how can we minimize? How can we possibly minimize um, this fat or be aware of it so we can minimize our risk of Alzheimer's. So when you want to minimize your risk of d dementia overall, you want to focus all around. So that includes your diet, mm -hmm. controlling your sugar, monitoring your blood pressure. Also, most importantly, as we get older, checking our hearing. Hearing loss is, an, uh, is a significant risk factor to the development of dementia. It causes social isolation and increases risk for older adults. And then for waistlines, the CDC recommends that men keep their waistline under 40 inches and women under 35, non-pregnant women. So that's the goal. If you can try to stick to those goals, you decrease your risk as much as possible. Yeah, habits, right? Habits, is, uh, make it a lifestyle instead of just a dietary momentary change. Yeah.